Barry Tedder, uh, Games Development Administrator with the Mead County Board. Barry, how are you doing? Not too bad, Kieran. Yourself? Ah, uh, sure. As I said, we're trying to stay active in these in these strange times, and it's kind of actually leading us to get probably a bit more reflection on kind of the good work that we we do on a regular basis with the county board and different things. And that's kind of why you're on the phone today, just to basically you're just to give us a description, kind of what is the role of a GDA and what does it actually mean to work for the Mead Coaching and Games Development Team? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm as I said, I'm part of the coaching and, and, and games team, and. Um, so I'm, a, as you said, a games development administrator. So in my role uh, in the county is I oversee um, S&C for the squads and the academies. Uh, and then within my role as well, uh, I have obviously assigned some hours with uh, Simonson and Gales. So I do the 20 hours of coaching a week there in Simonson and their schools and in their club. Um, the GPO, GDA kind of roles are very similar nearly. Um, with all the guys, but um, that's basically what, what my weeks are kind of made up of, of schools coaching, coach ed in the club, and then squad players and management as well, you know. Absolutely, so like that's the thing, we had GDAs in the county for a while and you've explained it well, like the GDA kind of works more with the county and the GPOs with the club, but obviously the schools and stuff obviously aren't open at the moment and it's probably a bit different your day and how it actually looks, like many people think that we might be shut down and games development. How can we do games development so there's no games? Yeah. But your day is, is hectic now nearly more than ever. Yeah, it would be like our days beforehand would have been hectic as well. Um, as you can imagine, when the schools were there, we, we did not a lot of initiatives running. Uh, we had obviously our five-star centres in the schools, obviously our club school links in the, in the school as well. We are coaching the kids all the time. And then you had your tourist workshops with club, a lot of club work in the evenings. Um, so a lot of the GPOs would have had a lot of work done there with developing coaches and, and helping develop better better coaches, developing better players. And then obviously with the squads as well, yeah, it would have been different. So now it's kind of turned on its head completely. Uh, as I said, we're still walking away as as busy as ever. Um, like a, a daily, like a week, we, we are week kind of walks now is every day from uh, quarter past nine, we have staff training, um, so we have about two hours dedicated to um, coursework, uh, whether it's Open University or um, work that Leinster are putting together for us that we're kind of upskilling, uh, hoping to come better at our jobs as well and, and, and continue professional development. Um, so like we're, we're flat out doing that. Then you'll have uh, your staff in, in Mead as well as in, in the rest of the province are kind of split maybe into different groups that are working together. Um, like, for example, we'd have groups working on maybe developing frameworks um, nationally and then locally as well in each county. You have obviously player profiling groups. You have like there's Canva training going on there, which is social media training for how to design up. Yeah. You've probably seen a lot of stuff on social media. Absolutely, it's brilliant stuff, stuff yeah. Um, so we have club, um, so and then helping us obviously to kind of just get, get become better maybe at our roles in, in in schools as well, and maybe how we how we coach and how we how we get our points across to kids and to teachers, and uh, that develops then as well into obviously in your into your club work as well. And um, so yeah, like the, the days are really they're really busy. Uh, obviously with the good weather as well, it's a bit tougher sitting on a laptop, but um, yeah, it's gone from kind of a fully on the go all the time to suddenly sitting in front of a laptop and uh, doing all the course work and, and working um, that when we do get back, a lot of the, the pathways and uh, the, the stuff that we do at the moment is going to be done a lot better uh, and more efficient and we're reviewing everything. Basically everything's getting reviewed, uh, ripped up, put back together, whether it's coach ed, how we do that maybe squads, how squads work from a national level, uh, all that sort of stuff. Everything's in a review uh, bit at the moment. And, and basically all staff are in Mead and, and across the province are, are, are working on it uh, at the moment, you know. Absolutely. And like it's, it's a great time to reflect and get that admin work done. Because as you said, you're, you're running a hectic uh, working with a full chocker block week. If you're not driving to somewhere, you're thinking about going somewhere and you're doing your coach and you're doing your administrative work. And as obviously you've said, it's been turned on its head slightly, but... The work you said is is actually, as I said, it's nearly more hectic because you've you've been kind of called upon to do extra responsibilities, and that's kind of a message that you want to get out to all the clubs in County Mead. There's 59 clubs. We're always encouraging them to to utilise the links with the county committee because that's ultimately what Mead GA is. It's it's the clubs together and the kind of a unified approach. And you really want the clubs to come and ask you how can the GDA team, how can Barry Tedder and, and his teammates, colleagues help the clubs? Yeah. 
Yeah, like I said, we have a staff. We're lucky. We, we've won. We've had the second biggest staff in Leinster. We have a staff of 23 uh, coaching in, in the coaching in games, um, and like we're all we're all still walking away. And like we are obviously, some of us are assigned to individual clubs. Some of the guys are assigned to maybe four, five, six clubs. So we're still there, and we're still in contact with them as as much as we can be um, via WhatsApp and that. But what we're developing now and, and what's coming online probably over the next week or so, and um, this is where we really want to go into clubs is, and, and engage our coaches, is we're going to start running webinars uh, for clubs uh, where we're going individual, uh, one one staff working with a club over a webinar, but we'd rather maybe work in groups, so maybe grouping clubs together. Absolutely. We can get bigger brother. numbers in keep people engaged so if that the Navin clubs all coming together or the not me clubs all coming together uh, and working in a webinar webinars aren't going to go on forever they're only 45 maybe an hour but it's it's stuff that's keeping our football brains engaged we're learning we're encouraged we're, we're improving as well because one of the main principles of, of, of Taurus is kind of a better coach makes better players better players make better clubs so that's what we're still we're still promoting that big style uh, so it's just that we're there engage with your with your gpo or gda get on to them keep on to us we, we'll have loads of we'll be in contact now probably over the next week or so trying to organize these webinars as you've seen there's loads of challenges have gone out there whether it's skills challenges that clubs been i think doing. i've seen clubs. james andrews uh doing the on mulligan goal yeah, in the back garden i saw that recently as well uh, that was one that the guys came up with iconic moments. So that, that's going to come as well over the next year to one of football and hurling iconic moments. Great to see guys replicating them. Even Owen Mulligan there yesterday, he gave it a like and he gave us a follow back as well. Um, so I think next week we're looking at maybe a hurling, a hurling skill. But yeah, like like it was skills challenges. Then as you would have known, you were there that day. We had the hundred touch challenge. Would just before um, just before the the kind of. The, the pandemic with the 100 touch challenge in Park Talton and then every other county seemed to have run with it since uh, and listen that's no problem at all we had it we had it, ran it in Park Talton on the at the Galway game and it was a real big success and um, but every other county's gone now yeah, you've individual super incitement that uh, the 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 big thing and I think ultimately your main objective is there was smiles on the faces of the young players and I think that's ultimately your biggest role is to, really? to improve people, but to give them great enjoyment. And you've done that in so many ways. And one other yeah. point I'd love you to mention as well is the, the new Facebook group that you've set up for coaches. It's kind of inviting yeah. coaches in maybe to have a bit of a smaller space where they know that it's only yeah. coaches that have been vetted. Kind of, when I mean vetted, they, you have to fill out a form saying kind of what your coaching is about and showing interest. And that's another way yeah. that the media provides a service to the public that if you want to get knowledge and you want to share your experiences, you can talk to other coaches. Absolutely, Kieran. Uh, uh, as you said, there, you, you just need to fill in the form. It's a basic form you fill in on your phone or your iPad. And what that will actually do, by the answers we, we get back, that will create the content of what we're going to push out down to the coaches. So there's no point in us putting on a course or putting on webinars on one thing or one particular thing when coaches are interested in a totally different area. So by engaging with us and, and answering these things, or even whatever you can do, if it's through Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, or as I said, the WhatsApp groups, I'm sure the messages have been repeated in WhatsApp groups. And sometimes it can be a lot of stuff goes out in WhatsApp that, that people miss. Um, mm. But certainly coming from any of the staff, it's something that we're looking to, and uh, as you said, help improve coaches, but also help improve coaches to enjoy, for kids' enjoyment as well in, in the clubs. Um, but yeah, so that, that would be kind of anything that we're, we're doing, we're, we're pushing out. And it's just really looking for engagement back from from, from clubs. Now it is, it is happening and it is there. Clubs have, Some clubs have gone off and even working on their own initiative now as well. They're on their own skills challenge, which is great to see. Um, yeah. But yeah, like, we, we, as, as much resources as we have here, we will um, definitely be, be looking to run them with the clubs. Uh, I suppose at any time of the day now, it suits majority of, of yeah. the public. But um, but yeah, the staff is there, and if you can, if you're not too sure, you can you can contact your 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 your, your club, uh, and they'll point in the right direction, maybe who to speak to. But um, I, I am sure majority of clubs would know who their their their, their staff member is that they, that they can get in touch with, you know, and and, and touch base with us and find out. What service we can we can provide you because there's definitely there's definitely something there for everybody uh, from from nursery all the way up to, to even adult teams as well because that would be one of the big things when if fingers crossed when we when we do get back um we'll be there to, to help and get stuff up and going again you know um absolutely Barry and it's, like, it's a wealth of knowledge and it just shows you the knowledge is there in our in our people involved and there's so much involved you mentioned like on on the media social media there are all the links to the coaching games development sites. The new website has a forward slash coaching section. There's so much on it. So, Barry, I'm just going to thank you for your time and uh, hopefully we'll be talking to you again in the flesh soon enough. 
But until then, keep safe and uh, keep up the great work with the coaching. Absolutely, Kieran. Thanks a million.